Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of PolicyPack Software. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure some of the Office 2010 applications using PolicyPack. I've already got Office 2010 installed on my target computer, and I'm just a regular user here. As you can see, I'm logged on as a guy called East Sales User 4. Let's uh, start by opening up Outlook and let's head over to Options and examine the configuration settings a user has access to, which can really mess up your day. We've got lots of settings in the application, but as a network administrator, I'm most interested in the Trust Center settings. As you can see here, we've got some security settings that are unique to Outlook, such as email security, attachment handling, and programmatic access. If I open up my Word, my Microsoft Word, and I review my, my Trust Center settings there, we see some more tabs that are important to that application, such as Protected View and also Attachment Handling. If I open up Excel, we have some additional Trust Center settings, and here are some that are common to many of the Office applications, such as Privacy Options and ActiveX settings. So let's see how quickly we can ensure compliance and perform desktop management quickly using Policy Pack. I'll go ahead and switch over to my management station computer to get started. We'll go ahead, we'll right click over our East Sales users, we'll create a GPO and we'll call it Manage Office 2010. So this GPO is now associated with our East Sales users. I'll right click over it, I'll click Edit, and I'll dive down under User Configuration, Policy Pack, Applications, New Application. And there it is, Policy Pack for Microsoft Outlook, as uh, well as a lot of other, other important applications like Java, Flash, Firefox, Skype, and lots of other important desktop apps that your users utilize every day, and you know you want to make more secure. So uh, let's go ahead and, like I said, and start with Outlook once again. So we'll go over to uh, Email Security, and uh, let's check Encrypt Contents and Attachments for Outgoing Messages, and also Add Digital Signature to Outgoing Messages, and while we're here, we might as well do Read All Standard Mail in Plain Text. So notice how when I initially check these settings that the text becomes underlined, and that means that the settings value is going to be delivered to the user. So let's go to automatic download and let's uncheck don't download pictures automatically in HTML email messages or RSS items. This is the kind of stuff that can really make your world more secure because the bad guys can't get to your users quite as easily. So now let's get back to our GPO and we'll add in the next application, Microsoft Word 2010, which will give us the interface we need to manage that application. Your users frequently download Word files, and you want to ensure that Protected View is enabled on all accounts. So while we're at it, let's go into Add-ins and ensure that the Require Application Add-ins to be signed by a trusted publisher is enabled. Again, keeping things very secure so the bad guys can't get a toehold in and be bad and make your life less secure. Now I'll go back to my client machine, and we'll get a command prompt and run GP Update. Now you could envision the user logging on for the first time using a terminal services or a Citrix machine, using a VDI session or changing job roles or, or even getting a new computer. I just happen to be using group policy and GP update. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and reopen Outlook. we can see that our desired settings within the Trust Center settings have been delivered. We can open up Microsoft Word and verify the delivery of our settings there as well. Policy Pack is doing its job. Let's configure one more application within the Office 2010 suite. Let me go back to my management station computer and I'll add in one last application, Microsoft Excel 2010 to our GPO. Now, you would want privacy options configured for all the 2010 applications, but for the sake of this video, we'll just configure them within Excel. So 
So notice how I'm going to enforce the unchecked values for many of these settings. Now I'll go back to my client machine, but this time I'm going to log off as eSales user 4 and now log on as eSales user 5. Now let's open up Microsoft Excel and confirm that these settings have been delivered as well to this user the first time he logs on. Just to demonstrate the controlling power of Policy Pack, let's pretend that eSales User 5 now is trying to modify and work around your settings. I know you know users who love to do this and make the machine less optimal and less secure. So let's close the application and reopen it. And we can see once again, Policy Pack has simply reverted the user settings right back to your desired settings. Even if the user is offline, your settings are always preserved because Policy Pack is always working for you, the administrator, in the background, making the whole job that you have to do a lot easier. Remember, it's Policy Pack that performs the magic. To get the magic delivered, you can use Group Policy, SCCM, Landesk, Case or your own systems management software. We just happen to be using Group Policy to deliver Policy Pack directives in this demonstration. And that's it, we are done. That is how incredibly easy it is for you to use Policy Pack and manage Office 2010 Suite, as well as tons of your other desktop applications. So if you're looking for a trial of Policy Pack, just click on the webinar download button on the right. Thanks so much for watching and get in touch with us soon if you're looking to get started. Thanks so much.